how incredible is it to see somebody who has the opportunity to do something that they've never done before? I mean, just completely change their lives. And in such a short period of time, you would come back and bring light to your entire community when they haven't had light before, when the kids haven't been able to study at night. You see this book, everything in this book, the grandmother will learn in six months. So if the lady is scared now, tell me, now is the time to say no. <laughs> Two years ago, I came to Sundance and met Bunker Roy, and he's the person who started the Barefoot College. We started talking about what he did, and he said, well, I train grandmothers how to become solar engineers. Women who go to India for six months, women from the most disenfranchised parts of the world, many of whom don't know how to read or write, and I just thought this was the most incredible story. When we initially started to go for this film, we thought we would follow three women from three different countries around the globe that were attending the Barefoot College in India. Within one month, one character really stood out, and her name is Rafia. After a month into her education, her husband called her home and said, if you don't come back, I will divorce you and steal your kids and you'll never see them again. So it was her drive from there to get back to India and, you know, make her brain work and use her education to better herself and her village that made her just overtake the entire film. There's an energy crisis around the world. Specifically to Jordan, they have no natural energy source. So solar energy is something huge that really has to be pushed on the ground there. It's great that a company like Hilton can help filmmakers raise global awareness. Airing these stories in Hilton's worldwide, we will have much better exposure than we would just in the theater or television. So it really helps get the message out there. The sustainability is a very important issue that we have to address right now. I think everybody in the world is at one point in their lives faced with this question. Can I possibly do this? Here is something that I don't think there's any way that I can do this, but I really, I'd love to try. And the fear of that, and ultimately, if you're successful at something that you're really afraid of, that can be some of the most, you know, the most life-changing moments. <laughs>